Hi everybody, Dan Ullman here with the DRF Bets Race of the Day for Sunday, February the 10th. Graded stakes action at Santa Anita. This for three-year-old sprinters going seven furlongs. It's the grade two San Vicente stakes. There are a couple of graded races on tap at the great race place on Sunday. Make sure you bet them both with a DRF Bets account. Sign up is easy at bets.drf.com. And when you deposit $50, you get an opportunity to bet with 200. Let's meet the field for the San Vicente. Only a field of five. You can access free formulator pass performances on the Race of the Day event page at drf.com. Download them, handicap along with me. I'll take the field in post position order, beginning with the number one, Synthesis. Synthesis's lone lifetime win came around two turns at Keeneland during the fall. He has raced once this meet at Santa Anita, and it was against Savagery, the number five. That day, Savagery was able to get out to the lead. Synthesis was in chase mode and Synthesis could not get to Savagery. I like Synthesis stretching out slightly to the seven furlong distance. I do wonder if he will be more effective around two turns down the road, although if there is a fast pace in this short field, Synthesis might be able to pick up some pieces late. The two and the three, Coliseum and Desmond, are both trained by the great Bob Baffert. Let's start with Coliseum, who rolled to a debut victory at Del Mar at this seven furlong debut distance with a 91 buyer speed figure. He showed impressive speed that day, drawing away from the field on the turn, and was then never pressured in the stretch. That race alone made him the 3-5 to five favorite, stretching out for the first time in the Grade 3 Sham earlier this year, and Coliseum did not break very well. He was very eager when he didn't make the lead, and just things didn't go right for Coliseum in that spot. So this is a regrouping effort for Bob Baffert. Turning him back to seven furlongs, he has given him several gate workouts to get him comfortable with the starting gate, and if Coliseum breaks, there is a very good chance that he will revert to that big race number in his career debut. This horse has a beautiful pedigree, being a son of Tappet, and it wouldn't be a surprise at all if Baffert wins the San Vicente with either Coliseum or Desmond. Desmond didn't earn the figure that Coliseum received. Coliseum received a 91 in his buyer, but I like the way Desmond won his debut. He is a big, good-looking son of Union Rags, sold for three-quarters of a million dollars back in March of 2018, and he was bet down to 9-10 to 10 against a relative relatively weak field of maidens three weeks ago at Santa Anita going six furlongs. He didn't break very well. He rushed into contention, tracking the pace three wide, attacked the pace setter on the turn, and then drew away very easily. I think Desmond's going to appreciate this additional seven furlong distance. I like his good early speed, although I think down the road he's a horse that's not going to be able to need the lead in order to win, and I do think he has some upside. The two negatives, one I've already mentioned, he beat a very weak field. Two, a very interesting Baffert formulator fact that I came up with. Over the past five years with three-year-olds, debut winners returning in their second start in dirt sprints, Baffert is only one for 19. He usually stretches these horses out off a debut win, much like he did with Coliseum in his second lifetime start. Desmond must improve from a buyer speed figure standpoint, but very visually impressive to my eyes in that last race. I think Desmond's going to run very well on Sunday. Sparkyville could be the surprise package if there's speed in this race. And with Savagery, Coliseum, and Desmond all having shown speed in prior starts, Sparkyville might end up in the catbird seat, and there are a lot of angles going for him. He's going turf to dirt for Jeff Bondi, a trainer that usually excels with this move. In his most recent dirt race, he finished third behind Mucho Gusto, who came out of that whim in the grade three Bob Hope to finish a good second in the grade one cash call futurity behind undefeated stable made improbable, and then he came right back to win the Robert B. Lewis. Sparkyville in that Bob Hope cruised up three wide on the turn. It looked like he was going to be a big factor going into the stretch. He was a little bit to late to change leads. He kind of hung on the outside. Maybe he's still learning. But I think Sparkyville might fall into a trip, and he might be sort of the value play in the San Vicente. Completing the field is Savagery, who blitzed the three other horses, one of them Synthesis in that January the 12th race. Uh, he finished ahead of Sparkyville in that Bob Hope. They tried to stretch him out. That is not his game. He is a true sprinter, although I do wonder if six furlongs will be his best. You will know Savagery early. I'm assuming he will be sent from the gate. And the question is, will he get involved in some sort of a pace showdown with either the two Coliseum? or the three Desmond. My topic in here is going to be the number three Desmond. I do realize
realize that he has to improve stepping up against winners for the first time facing some other speeds and racing at seven but again I was visually impressed by that career debut and I'm hoping that Savagery can get out there to the lead Desmond can relax as he did in his debut on the outside and we're going to find out how good this son of Union Rags is uh, as he faces tougher horses for the first time I think Sparky Villa is a horse that must be considered especially if the pace is fast so the way I'm looking at this race right now I'm going to go with Desmond on top of Sparkyville and we'll see how Coliseum does as he turns back in distance trying to rebound from that little bit of a debacle as the odds on favorite in the grade three sham. Desmond, my top pick in the San Vicente. Maybe we'll see some of these horses in the Santa Anita Derby later this spring. The San Vicente is your DRF bets race of the day. Make sure you play it with DRF bets. It's always a great deal. You deposit $50, you bet with $200. DRF bets, ready, set, bet. The San Vicente is the Sunday DRF bets race of the day.